Hello, my name is Lexi Clark and I'm here to talk about my marketing paper on Sorel Shoes. Sorel was created in 1962 in Portland, Oregon. You can access the Sorel website by typing in sorel.com. Sorel offers shoes that can be worn all year round for both their consumers of men and women. Sorel does offer shoes for children, but is not seen as much as their advertisements for women. Not having to buy shoes for every season is a financial saver. Sorel can express this to their customer when they do not have to buy shoes for each season and that they can save money. Sorel strives to create footwear that is wearable, outdoorsy, and functional to multiple climates and weather conditions. Sorel's goal is to establish products that are more geographical diverse. <coughs> Excuse me. This would be a smart business suggestion due to the younger and older population. Sorel can create footwear for both men and women and for younger and older demographics. For the young demographic, Sorel can create a footwear that will help prevent them from having damage to their feet. For the older demographic, Sorel can create comfortable pair of shoes that can help them walk and not have achy feet. Sorel can take into consideration of the marketing mix. Their products are in for inspiration for, for everyone can wear. They can also campaign, get your boots dirty. Sorel partnered up with many designers to promote this product. Sorel can use various social medias to advertise their products. With simple hashtagging, followers will be able to see the trends that Sorel is creating and see how awesome their shoes are. It created a message for customers to share with everyone. With Sorel becoming diverse with their footwear, they are able to expand their product line. Companies need to be more innovative to keep their customers interested. I also think if Sorel expressed how their footwear has quantity over quantity, more customers will understand. Also, with Sorel being more geographic and demographical diverse, they'll reach more, more of an audience and target more audience. Next, I'll talk a little bit about Sorrel's target market. Sorrel's target market is to market to everyone, men, women, children, and to have their shoes be more functional and diverse, diverse, diversified. Their mission is just not about their boots. It's about targeting customers that are goal-getters and creating new styles for their new generation to come. Sorrel shoes are not just for one season, but can be worn for multiple seasons. Their shoes contain anything from felt, wool, and leather. Sorel creates waterproof boots that are fashionable and functional. Speaking from experience, I have two kinds of Sorel boots and they are made up to withstand negative 50 degree weather. My job involves me standing outside for more than an hour some days and I can't complain because they keep my feet warm and comfortable and they even have a little bit of a wedge on it so it has a, sta um, a fashion statement to it. Next, um, I'll talk about how Sorrel strives to push people to get out there and become go-getters, not just and not just afraid to get their boots dirty. As Sorrel pushes to become more diversified with their brand and expressing more trends for their company, I decided to talk a little bit more about their products. Um, Sorrel offers a product that is form and functioning for every um, consumer. Um, in 2019. Sorel accepted the role of making their product line more diverse and targeting their audience. This was a goal that Sorel created and has helped increase their brand. They have slowly increased their product line over the years and they are more focused on the fashion market without losing insight of their foothold of outdoors. Sorel's success is diversified and it attributes to a strong team with clear vision and willing to listen. So Rel's brand has a heavily increased with the revenue due to product expansion. They are leading the trend for shoe companies. Their footwear products are used both for fashion and outdoors. Rel targets their customers by their brand awareness and advertising their new shoes in magazines, online, billboards, and other materials like social media. In 2009, boots were becoming a sta um, staple for women women's wardrobes and strategic alignment with top magazines like Vogue and many others. 
boots are a very bad thing here in North Dakota, I would say. I break out my boots, I would say, in September, and I wear them until, I guess now, because it's snowing. <laughs> but um, they're able to function in multiple seasons, which is really great for um, customers who are looking for that, because not everyone wants to spend $200 for every season. So if they're able to um, fork out 200 bucks for one pair of boots and wear them for almost all the year, might as well do so. Anyways, Sorrel expanded their product line to more designs and styled for all year round, like I mentioned. Um, they also offered more fall styles for both men and women. Um, Sorrel strives to make their footwear fashionable for all the seasons. I can wear my boots with sweatpants, um, jeans, um, baggy pants, I guess, that you can dress up, dress them down, which is nice because they have that comfort um, flair to them. Um, they have a short booty that I have, and I can wear that with baggy jeans, like boyfriend fit jeans, or even um, tight, stretchy jeans. And they work for both outfits, so I really appreciate that as a consumer. Um, Sorrel has been popular due to their functional wear and their ability to have their shoes be functional for all their seasons. With being a footwear industry, Sorrel does have competition. Competition like Pajar and Ugg. Um, a lot of people are popular with the brand of Ugg because you can wear those boots also year-round and they're cute and they're snuggy and they look good with any outfit I would say. I myself personally have a pair of Uggs and I kind of feel like a traitor to my Sorrells. Anyway, um, I'll tell you a little bit about these companies. Um, Pajar is a manufacturer of footwear and has also created similar shoes to the outdoors and winter boots like Sorrel has. Um, they are known for their latest technology and their high-end designs of their footwear. Um, they also create footwear that helps with the top performance and comfor comfortable wear. I would say this is a competitive adva um, advantage for this company. Um, Sorrel does offer shoes that are more diverse and functional, but to have the experience in their shoes that are high-end and able to compete all day long or hike all day long. Most consumers are looking for a shoe that is like that. Um, also, they are also weather resistant to snow and mud. Um, they have other marketing sites besides just footwear. They have snow gear, accessories, and clothing. This is a huge competitive advantage for this company. Sorrel's next um, competitor is Ugg. Ugg was created in 1978 by Brian Smith. And he fell in love with sheepskin, which is what Uggs are made out of. I see people left and right wearing Ugg boots, and they're very popular here in town and all over the world. Um, Uggs are made for relaxing and being casual, which is very common because that's what I use mine for. Um, they are very comfortable boots to lay around in, whether um, one is going out or staying in. Ugg has a very competitive advantage over Sorrel due to their variety of inventory collection. They don't just necessarily have boots. They have other items and merchandise like boots, shoes, um, flip-flops, and other um, clothing apparel. Next I'll talk about um, Sorrel's SWOT analysis. Um, for Sorrel shoes, they can be worn with any outfit and with any um, setting. That's what they strive for. Not just wearing boots with snow pants, but wearing boots with also jeans and a t-shirt. Um, so, um, Sorrel has some strengths and their strengths are that their designs are more of an ethnic and they offer more of a function and styleable um, footwear. Sorrel offers shoes that are for every season and that can be worn with any outfit. Um, their cover page of their website, Sorrel.com, um, shows women wearing sneakers with dresses, like I mentioned before. Um, their cover pa um, cover page is an advertising advantage for their company because they show different outfits with all their shoes. Sorrel's weakness is that they're highly priced items, anything between $100 to over $200. This might turn consumers away due to the price of their shoe. Um, Speaking from experience, I always wait till Sorrel shoes are on sale or um, they're a little bit marked down or if I'm lucky, birthday present. Um, 
because I don't feel like spending over a hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. Yes, there is quality to these shoes, but I would rather have them when, get them when they're half off or a little bit marked down. Um, these are the number one shoes I wear, and I see a lot of people, more older generations, wearing these shoes due to their comfort. Sorrel's opportunity is that their shoes are very stylable and are very functional, and not just for certain seasons, but for all seasons. Um, they have the opportunity on their website to um, discuss different ways to wear your shoes. Um, there's one called the Element and Element, and it talks about how you can wear these classic um, casual slip-on shoes going like to the cities, going on vacation going here and there and I thought this was pretty neat because it gives their consumers a, a little bit um, to think about how to dress up their outfits and how to create new outfits and this is a good marketing advantage. Um, their weaknesses is that um, they don't offer apparel to, with their outfits. They do advertise what you can wear with their out, your outfits but they don't um, advertise it like advertise and sell um, apparel. Um, they do create um, shoes that are functional and um, more diverse for their customer. So this is also an opportunity for their um, business. Um, but it can also be a threat because they have a line that is very similar to, um, they all have the same type of style, I would say. I mean, Sorrel shoes themselves are very um diverse but they seem to have um like scalp edgings it's like their new sneaker came out um that's what it seems to have the look of their shoes so Rao has a um competition with their competitive advantage nowadays due to people wanting to be more outdoorsy and that is a new fad right now more people want to get out there hike go walking and do other outdoors activity so this is a huge competitive um, strategy nowadays for people for um, companies that sell boots, shoes, anything that can help with outdoor. They also, um, with being a company that strives to push people outdoors, is an opportunity for their company, but is also a threat because of these companies creating the same um, type of shoes for the outdoors and um, functionality. Sorrel's segmentation plan is directed towards gender, demographics, and geographics. Um, talking about gender, Sorrel targets to both men, women, and kids. This way that um, we have a mom walk into the store, they see a shoe that they like, they love it, they love the comfort of the shoe, they're willing to buy it more for their husband and their kids just because of the liking and the comfort and the diversity of the shoe. Next, I want to talk a little bit about my marketing plan. I see that when you log on to the website, Sorrel.com, that um, they mostly advertise women. And I feel like it'd be a competitive advantage if Sorrel started marketing to more men and children. Um, this would increase in revenue in their business and they would get more consumers buying their merchandise. I also believe that Sorel should start offering um, apparel to mix and match with your shoes. Um, I feel like if they have an icon that next to the shoe they say match with this outfit for like a selective price anything between I would say 30 to 60 bucks um, is a decent price and would help out their consumers when trying to pick out an outfit. I know I struggle with this. I always buy a like a pair of tennis shoes, let's just say, and I'm like, oh, what do I wear this with? And I see nowadays that people are wearing tennis shoes with more jeans and a relaxed t-shirt. Um, I feel like if Sorel got on board and started do marketing this competitive advantage to their customers and their consumers, um, they would increase their sales, generate more consumer base, and um, create a new um, marketing line for their company. A way to market this new marketing plan is to reach out to consumers um, to advertise on social media, billboards, magazines, etc. Um, I feel like if they can get male models or children models to come in and um, model their shoes and launch that on their website, it'd be a huge success. I also think they should do a survey 
to kids and males that come into the store asking about how they like the comfort of their shoe, what they like best about um, Sorella shoes, and why they keep coming back to um, the store to buy shoes. Um, and also I think they should take those surveys and put them on the Sorella website on my story. And this would get consumers interested and relatable to these shoes. I also think it's great to market towards families because if you are, let's say, a family of five, mom and dad, and two kids, mom likes the shoes, dad likes the shoes, they're willing to buy them for their kids. Um, to way to fund this, I um, made a monthly budget and I explained all the expenses, employment rates, um, generated revenue afterwards. It was like 19300 and I said to invest this into the company for the next month. Um, into ads marketing and to have make sure to have like a successful team and make sure to hire people with the specifics of marketing and knowing that with these new marketing campaigns they'll be able to draw in their consumers and create more of a profit. Lastly with talking about the implementation plan evaluation and control, um, Sorrell's team would want to talk about the process of this whole marketing plan and how we're going to start about this. Um, we'll put together an information plan that will consider the factors of people, resource, system, and culture. With people having being a huge key in this marketing plan, um, we'll make sure to have a developed team that know the strategies of marketing to their customers and to creating more revenue. We'll use our resource like we'll look back in the past and see what worked, what brought our consumers in, what sales were huge for us, uh, what will create again um, new revenue. We also hope that these stories will push our consumers to come in and purchase these outfits that we will be um, advertising on our website in our stores. Um, we'll talk about personal experiences with our new um, apparel and our new um, for like male and kiddos. Um, we'll make sure to push this new marketing plan and invitation back on social medias and other marketing factors. Um, we'll make sure to step up our structure and our plan um, and make sure it goes accordingly. We want to make sure that we have monthly quarterly meetings so we can discuss how it is going and where we at, what needs to change, um, what needs redirection? Are we getting consumers to come in? Are our consumers seeing what we want them to see? What needs changing? What's not working? What shoes are selling? What aren't sh selling? Do we need to create a new um, shoe? Um, things like this is all part of the implementation plan. Um, lastly, we want to create a new environment for our Sorrells um, consumers and company. Um, this way, um, if we get it right and we are able to reach our goals, we'll make sure we are focusing on our mission and our um, team. So everything that we want to be achieved is going to be achieved and our goals are achieved as well. Um, by creating these, our new market plan, we'll be able to generate new revenue and get a new, also a new client intel with these male and children consumers. Um, we also have to take into consideration um, if the implementation plan fails. Um, this is all um, due to lack of communication between employees and management. Um, say the employees don't get addressed um, proper communication. This can fail when they're going to the store or reaching out to customers. Um, you want to make sure everything is communicated properly in our meetings and is directed properly. This way our plan works. Um, we also want to make sure that our employers are not overwhelmed with this new marketing plan. Um, it can be overwhelming reaching out to customers and trying to get them on board. And we want to make sure that our employees are well taken care of just like our customers are. Um, we want to introduce, next when we introduce our new clothing line, we want to make sure that we help our customers match with the footwear. Um, that they are buying and that they're able to um, like the product afterwards and like their style that they're getting and we hope that this is successful and 
that we can meet our needs of our consumers and customers and hopefully that our marketing plan works.